bone tissue is made up of a soft, flexible framework or matrix of organic material, mostly collagen, plastered with a hard, brittle bone mineral, mostly calcium hydroxyapatite and calcium phosphate. Without the organic matrix, the bone would be brittle. Without the mineral, the bone would be too soft to hold its shape. The collagen matrix is produced by cells lining the surface of the bone known as osteoblasts. Calcium and other minerals are deposited to this framework. As the osteoblasts continue to produce bone, they are surrounded inside the very bone they produced. When this occurs, they become less active in producing the collagen matrix. At this point, they are known as osteocytes. The osteocytes continue to maintain the surrounding bone matrix by regulating the exchange of minerals and other nutrients. A third type of bone cell is known as an osteoclast. Osteoclasts secrete acids and enzymes to break down and absorb bone material, and so the bone is constantly being built up by osteoblasts and broken down by osteoclasts. This is known as bone turnover. Mature, healthy bone is known as lamellar bone. It is strong and rigid, making it suitable for providing structure for our bodies. There are two types of lamellar bone. Let's open up this femur to see the difference. Cortical bone is the dense, stiff, strong bone that forms a shell around the rest of the bone. Cortex can mean shell or husk. It is the superficial, outermost layer of the bone. Cancellus bone is the spongy bone inside. It is softer and more elastic than cortical bone. You can see that it appears more porous. Now let's take a closer look at the cortical bone. Bone cells need access to the body's blood supply in order to survive and function. Blood vessels and nerves travel up and down the bone through canals known as haversion canals. They are surrounded by rings of bone called lamellae. These lamellae are made of the bone tissue produced by the osteoblasts. As we just discussed, the osteoblasts have encased themselves in this bone and become osteocytes. They sit in little pockets known as lacunae. Without any communication with the blood vessel, the osteocyte would die and so channels remain between the lamellae that allow osteocytes to communicate with each other and with the blood supply. These channels are known as canaliculi. A cylindrical collection of lamellae surrounding a haversion canal is known as an osteon. The osteon is surrounded by a cement line that forms an outer border. In cortical bone, the osteons are packed closely together to form dense, hard bone. Now let's move past the cortex and into the cancellous bone. Instead of densely packed osteons, we find a porous meshwork of bone known as trabecular or spongy bone. This structure does not provide as much strength and rigidity. It has a higher turnover than cortical bone and is more elastic. The pores provide a place for storage of bone marrow. So quick review. Bone tissue is formed by a collagen matrix hardened by deposited calcium. The bone tissue is built up by osteoblasts, maintained by osteocytes, and broken down by osteoclasts. The outer shell of a bone is made up of a dense, highly organized bone tissue which makes it rigid and strong. The inner part of a bone is generally made up of spongy cancellous bone which contributes to the strength of the bone while providing a place for the storage of bone marrow.